Romance scenes are more than physical interactions between characters. The best romance scenes involve poignant and pertinent emotions and dialogue. If you could use some practice writing your romance scenes, I have just the thing for you. Today, you and I will practice writing our romance scenes with a writing prompt. If you don't know me, I'm Octavia D. Mason, giving you the best practical writing tips, resources to build a strong novel, and confidence to write your story. Without further delay, let's get to this writing prompt vlog. Hey, let's go. Our writing prompt goes as this. Chandra had one mission in the coffee shop. Retrieve the last blueberry stone. It was a no-brainer. Making it to the counter, she pointed to the only pastry. But before she could make her request, the guy wearing a fedora that rivals the one Sinatra was well known for says, All right, there you have it, my lovely people. The writing pump that we are going to use to practice writing our romance scene. So grab your pen, piece of paper, your laptop, and let's get started. just finished writing uh, my romance writing prompt let's see how long it took me i started at around 11 40 so it took me about it took me about 40 minutes to write there were a lot of times that i got a little um stuck i want to say in certain parts because i wasn't sure where i was going for a little bit and then there are times where I'm, i was trying to see okay what am i trying to say but what I did for the most part for my writing prompt is that I just chose to write it and I didn't try to get so down in detail about what I was going to write or 
what I was going to say or what the characters were going to do. So now it's time for you to hear it. You ready? Let's go. You know, you really don't want that, right? Chandra isn't sure what she'll say to the crooner wannabe, but she knew it began with the words, none of your business, and ended with, get lost. Setting a skeptical grimace onto her lips and a disinterested lift into her brow, she turned to the nosy coffeegoer. Before she could release her snappy retort, her words faltered at the smirk resting on his face. It reminded her of, of her granny's cooking, sweet like the first bite of her granny's homemade sweet potato pie smothered in vanilla ice cream yet somewhere in between the corner of his lips and the dimple nestled on his cheek was a burst of flavor the kind chandra experienced when seeking sinking her teeth into her granny's fried chicken dragging her gaze from his smile she looked at him and what is it you think i want his following grin was more delightful than the last how with the lift of his lips, did he send her thoughts on a whirlwind? You don't want some typical blueberry scone. Nah, you want a Danish. Flaky, soft, flaky crust on the outside and creamy goodness right in the middle. Now that's a morning pastry, not some simple scone. Really? A <clears throat> interrupts me and I turn to the frowning cashier who taps his fingers along the countertop. Sir? Your order will be ready in a minute. Ma'am, what can I get for you today? Sparing a glance at the man on my left, he edges me on with a nod. With a tilt of my head, I point to the cream-filled Danish. I'll take that one. As I complete my order, another cashier brings the fedora-wearing stranger his coffee. I'm sorry, sir, but we just ran out of the cream cheese muffin. Would you like anything else? His ebony-hued eyes found mine as he answered. I'll take the blueberry scone. With the scoff, I shake my head. So much for it being a simple scone, huh? Accepting the scone, he turns to me and the smirk returns. What if you and your Danish joined me and my scone at that table over there? And maybe, just maybe, we can turn this boring scone into something amazing. So there you go, people. My response to the writing prompt. I guess I'm hungry because I did use a lot of food references. Actually, I am hungry. That's why you got a lot of those food references. You're welcome. But yes, these are all the things that I went through with my writing prompt. I had to sit down and just write and not think so much about it. And that's how I came up with my response for this Yo Mess writing prompt. Before I close out this video, let's not forget to recap our practical writing tip of the day. It goes as this. Romance scenes are more than physical interactions between the characters. The best romance scenes involve poignant and pertinent dialogue and emotion. In the comments, share your response to this writing prompt below. And until the next video, be sure to check out my practical writing tips playlist right here on this channel. As always, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content just like this, don't forget to check out all my other videos on this channel for practical writing tips for beginner writers. And hit that notification bell for weekly videos just like this one. And head on over to my website at www.octaviadmason.com to become a free member of the ODM community to receive member exclusives like freebies, writing resources, and so much more. Again, I'm Octavia D. Mason, giving you the best practical writing tips, resources to build a strong novel, and confidence to write your story. See you in the next video. Peace.